Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium. We are going to get started right away. I want to thank everybody for joining me here today, taking the time to be, and I use this term loosely, entertained on the show. <laughs> okay. Um, First, uh, if you've called in, I will be getting to everybody, hopefully on the call-in log. I will do my best to get to you and answer your questions, help you connect with loved ones on the other side. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is um, 845-277-9131. Yes, that is the call-in number. Um, if you'd like to join us live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. Yep. Noon central. And let's see, I will never reach out to you to ask you if you want a reading or to do work or any of that stuff. I don't do that. I, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, if you'd like to join the chat, you can join us on YouTube. The chat is going strong right now. Lots of questions and clearings going on prior to the show. Um, you can again, you can call in 845-277-9131. I'm going to start today showing with a clear show with a clearing. Uh, Mimi had already requested this and I started the clearing already, but I'm just going to announce it right out of the gate. Any, um, we're going to clear out our heart, our body, our mind of any um, distress, disappointment, and hurt. And here we go for anybody listening, re listening, uh, watching, re watching. And the more you listen, to this, the more it has the opportunity to take. I always say to people, we hear, heal when we're ready, not when we want to. And sometimes we tend to hold on to things that um, we think we need. Sub subconsciously, we think we need it. Like I always use this example too. If we've ever been cheated on, we don't let go of that because we think that protects us from being cheated on again. And then we look for those little signs and so on and so forth. So it's really difficult for us to let go of that because, you know, we don't want it to happen again. The truth is the more we hold on to it, we become a magnet to it, yada, yada, so on and so forth. So what I'm saying here is that, um, we're going to let go of as much as we can in this round. Some people, all of it will go right out because we're just ready for it to go. For others, the next time they listen to that healing or clearing, it will go and then another and then another. And that is just how healing works for some people sometimes. We're all very unique, amazing individuals, and we can only um, hold on to that. And then one other thing... Um, Fawn asked me if I could connect with her biological father, and I have. And the message was just a little too long to type into the chat. So I'm just going to give the message here. Uh, yes, it is accurate. The information you received is accurate. He is your dad. And ever since he has tapped in, my whole head hurts. So I feel like Whatever, however he passed, whatever had to do with him passing had something to do with his head because my whole head hurts. Um, and I, I, I think I'm guessing that could be for somebody else, too. The other thing that I'm getting is that um, if things had been different, things would have been different. Oh, quite a character this guy is, right? He's such a character. Um I, I'm getting the statement that he did watch you grow up. If you, just because you didn't maybe know or see him, it doesn't mean he didn't know or see you. For whatever that's worth, okay, Fawn. I do hope that if that is helpful for you. I hope that you uh, find some peace in that answer. I want to say hi to everybody online in the chat. 
Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Sally. Um, Heather. Hey, Anne. Hi, Anne. I'm so happy to see you here today. Genevieve, I hope you're doing well and Tinkle is doing well. Uh, of course, Mimi's here, Fawn and Rebecca, Terry. Thank you all for joining us here. I am going to be answering more questions and doing more clearings from everybody in the chat. So if you have a clearing, please post it. I will do it. If you have a question, post it. I will get to it as soon as I can. And uh, I'm going to go to the first caller and then I will take questions. The first caller is area code. One one one, one one one. What's your name? Hi. What? Yep, I can. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Rosemary from New Jersey. Hey, Rosemary, how can I help you? Uh, whatever you can pick up for uh, positive. Been going, a lot of things going on at once for me, and nothing being cleared up. And have a trip coming up, so anything I'm just coming up for that. Or you need a specific question? Yeah, just a specific question will do because that's a lot of energy floating around there. So just one specific question would be amazing. Thank you, Rosemary. No <clears throat> problem. Um, I guess that's, that's um, the money coming in for my trip. Going to be cleared up this week before Tuesday. Okay, so you want to know, and I just want to make sure because the line isn't as clear as I'd like it to be. You want there's supposed to be money coming in for your trip, and you want to know if it's going to be in before Tuesday. Right. Okay. Let me look at that. <laughs> Do you leave on Tuesday? <laughs> Yes. Okay. I, the universe is so funny. I keep hearing Wednesday, 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 but here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little clearing and see if we can't get that to you sooner. She'll have the money for her trip. Buy her trip. I get a no. Let's clear that. Let's see if we can pull it in sooner. And Rosemary, I'm just going to say this. And if it's true, you can confirm it, but you do not have to. There are some of us who were brought up with that. Things never get here on time. I'm always, you know, like just by the skin of my teeth or whatever, however we would say that. So I want to clear that whole energy for you and anybody else who has that where, you know, we're always just struggling or waiting or it's just coming in on time or a day late and a, do a day late and a dollar short. That's the statement. Thank you. Um, so let's clear that whole energy out. And that's a statement for those of you who don't know who are much younger. That's a statement like our grandparents would have made or our parents, like they would have always been in that kind of situation. But we're going to try to clear out as much of that as possible. <gasps> Oh, I didn't expect this one to take me under, Rosemary. What the heck? I can barely breathe and I have tears coming out of my eyes right now. <laughs> Apparently, my grandparents must have handed this one down too. Ooh, it's a biggie, folks. Anybody else feeling this? If you are in the chat and you are feeling this, please give a shout out. Um it's the whole chest and head area that is just like screaming at me right now. And I'm laughing because this is a helica, helica energy. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Rosemary, what are you oh, feeling? Yeah, I think uh, me left and right for a year and a half now to get it cleared. Then now that you said that, Rosemary, for you, every Rosemary, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to do this for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. I'm going to ask your angels and or healers to come into you right now, not into you, but in and take out any stuck energy, <clears throat> anything keeping you stuck, anything in your way on your path it has been cleared. I get a no, let's clear it. And here's what I'm going to do. And this is big. This is huge, folks. And it just came to me. And please appreciate this and thank your angels for this. Any and all hardship 
agreements or contracts. Any agreements or contracts or hardship or things are tough or things are difficult. We're going to clear that now. Oh, does is anybody else feeling the way I feel right now? <laughs> Ooh, am I taking the brunt for everybody? I don't mind. I'll do it. That's why I'm here. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to clear all that away. Um, and then I'm going to say you should notice a difference tomorrow. You'll feel lighter today. And then within 24 hours of receiving this, you should notice things start to be a little different. Now, if you're anything like me, as soon as something clears and things start going good, you're like, okay, when's it going to go back? Don't do that. Don't do that. Right? Don't say, oh, it's just going to get better from here. We need to hold on to that belief. And that's that really powerful, like everything's just getting better. Um so let's all do that. Yeah, um, Heather's saying she's feeling feeling it in the chest. Hey, welcome to show Karen. Karen's feeling it. Oh, and yeah, that's good. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Please keep us posted on when that money comes in. Oh, and I hope you Thank have you an you. amazing trip, okay, love? All right, I will. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. So um, in the chat, Sally asked, I saw 1111 today on the clock. What does this mean for me? That's a good question. Uh, typically, 1111 is either um, twins, like soulmates meeting. It can be um, angels are there. They're just letting you know you're, um, the 1111 is also the number four, which is foundations, strong foundations. Um, and 1111 is your angels letting you know they're there. And it for some people, it means miracles are coming or healing is coming. So what whatever that means for you, Sally, uh, whatever fits that, rock with it. Whatever that, that fits, um, rock with it. I'm going to go to 310. 310, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, it's Ben. I'm calling from New York. I'm not too far from you, actually. Because you're in the 845 area, man. I live in uh, Poughkeepsie, near the, uh, where the old Kmart was. They just tore down. Oh, Vince, that's awesome. But Vince, um, that's the call in number. That's not my actual number. So I'm. Unfortunately, I'm not in New York, oh. <laughs> but no, that that makes sense that you would think that. Yes. How are you doing, Vince? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I, I had a question. I turned down um, two jobs just recently um, because I got offered a, I'm taking a job as a camp at a brewery starting on Monday in Pennsylvania um, because there's a lot more potential there. And over time, and they said that um, if I prove myself, it could turn into full time. So I'm wondering if I made the right choice and if it's going to go really well, if they're going to keep me full time, if they're going to take me on full time down the road. They, um, it looks good as of right now. Um, as of right now, everything looks good, Vince. Um, I feel like there might be some transitions as you get into this position. Just be open to all possibilities, okay? Right. And transitions can mean they start you in one department and you go to another, or the temp agency might find something better suited for you. Whatever it is, just be open to all the possibilities, okay? Okay. Excellent. Yeah, because I'm... I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm not getting any benefits and everything until it does go full time. So, but um, they did say this, especially now with the mm -hmm. with the hot season, you know, that's when people start drinking more beer. Um, that there's going to be a lot of overtime, which is something I'm accustomed to working too. So, um, yeah, um, and I'm hoping this is going to be the end all be all job for me until I decide to retire. Well, I just, I think you need to be open to any possibilities and anything that else, and like if something right. else does come along that seems like a better fit, you, you're you going to want to be open to it. 
And um, there's a statement that says when you when you attach to something, how does it go? I'm going to mess up the statement, but be attached to nothing and you will get everything sort of thing. So don't attach yourself so quickly to this position. Um, allow it to become a road you ride, not something you depend on, if that makes sense to you, okay? Yeah. I hope that's helpful, All right. Thank you very much. You are so welcome, and you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day, okay, Vince? You too, thank you. You are welcome. I look forward to talking with you again um, in the near future. I'm going to go directly to 703, 703. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name's Andrea. I'm calling from Virginia. Hey, Andrea, how can I help you today? Well, I just started this job about a month ago, but it's very toxic. So I decided to quit my job today without another one. So do you think a new one will come soon? Yeah, um, actually, I'm hearing you are going <laughs> to. Sometimes when I hear tomorrow, it doesn't literally mean tomorrow, but it can mean tomorrow. It might mean you find it tomorrow, even if you don't get it tomorrow. Um, I feel like you're going to find and or know about the job within this week if you actively look. I feel like you're going to have some really good possibilities. I feel like you're going to um, have the go to like three, possibly four interviews or three, possibly four different companies and then choose one of them. Um, I feel like it's going to come down to two different companies and then you're going to be able to make the choice of which one you want. I feel like by June, by June, is it mid-June? Beginning, They're saying by the beginning of June, you'll be working again and you'll be, you'll be in a much better situation with a much better company. Okay, yeah, I had an interview yesterday that she would, would take a month if she wants to do somewhere in June. Then I had an interview last week. I'm still waiting to hear back. Okay. And I have some other ones I'm working on. So. Good. Yeah, then that, that fits right in. Uh -huh. I do feel like there's something else you're going to find. You know what? <clears throat> really, wherever you're looking for positions, really look it over tomorrow because I feel like something new is going to pop up and you'll be very interested in it, okay? Okay, awesome. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. You too. You too. Thank you. You My are. Blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm just going to take a second to look at any questions on the um, the chat. And um, Anne wants to know, is there any message that my loved ones can give me to help me not be so stressed. Well, and uh, let's do a healing and or clearing for stress for you and everybody listening, watching, uh, re-listening, re-watching all stress and all that has caused it has been healed, cleared, released. Let's clear that. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to tell you is, okay, to know everything is exactly as it's supposed to be is very difficult sometimes but it's what they're they're asking you to trust i know it's very difficult in your situation to have the trust that oh, that's a lot of stress <laughs> holy right world <laughs> holy okay oh keep it going um just to know that everything is going to work out and that everything is going to be okay. It, it, there are a lot of moments when we can't see that and we begin to worry and we don't always know what's going to come next or what's going to happen next. Or in your case, Anne, you're, I think you are very stressed about what would happen to you next. Who's going to do something to you next? And yeah, because I instantly just start shaking when I say that. So let's clear that. Let's um, clear that. And I know when we've gone through things in our life, it can be very difficult. 
Oh, it can be very, very difficult to, um, to trust. And I just want you to trust that everything is going to work out for you and you are going to be in a position where you will be okay and everything will fall into place. It might not look the way you want it to, but it will fall into place. Okay, if you would like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Again, that number is 845-277-9131. That's the call-in number. That's not the number for a private reading. Um, you actually go to my website for that, which is T-O-N-I-G.io. I N F O Tony G dot info. Okay, I'm gonna to go to 262. 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Amy. Hey Amy, how are you? Can you hear me? Yep, I can. Oh good. What's going on? I am good. Good, good, good. What's going okay, on? Okay, so interesting. Um yesterday I got a strange phone call thanking me for a political donation um, and they were asking for an explanation. Oh, Amy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say to you because your phone just gargled up and I, I know you're on the road on the way to work. I know you listen to me on your way or, you know, traveling every day. Um, I feel like it's a scam. Um, I hope you re-listen to this later. I feel like it's a scam. Don't give them any information. Don't tell them anything. It's a scam. Okay. Um, that's what I can tell you. Uh, these scammers be scamming and they, they are coming up with crazy new ways to scam us. I am just saying, um, uh, don't, don't ever, even if you, okay. So if somebody calls in or emails you or, anything and says, thank you for this, or we're having a problem with this. Don't go through them. Go straight to your bank. Never give your personal information to anybody, no matter how legit they seem. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, Heather wants to know what is her song of the day. Oh my gosh, I have not. Okay. Um, Heather's song. Let me tap in to Heather. It's that song, and it's it's a goof. It's not goofy, but let oh god, let me love you. Let I can't even sing it. I can't do the voice. Do, 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 do. I can't even do the tune of it. But let me love you. Um, not the slow one, the faster one, the the more upbeat song of "Let Me Love You." I I those are the only words coming through. Is that um. I can't, I can't even think of another another verse to that song. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry, Heather. That's all I can get for that song. Okay, and Heather's bringing up the baby. Yes, the little, the little munchkin that hangs out during my show for somebody who listens or watches the show. This little guy, it is a boy. Um, and big, biggest eyes, big, yeah, big blue eyes, light hair, very light hair, just still in pampers or diapers, little blue jeans, and, um, just looks either stands on the floor, leaning against the couch, looking at me or climbs up and just stares at me for the show. Um, and, uh, she is saying we all have big blue eyes and long eyelashes. Uh, you pulled at my heartstrings when you mentioned her baby. Okay. I was going to ask about the baby that is there with you. Is the baby, is it the baby I lost? If it, if this, this little guy, um, is older, I don't feel like this is a baby that somebody lost while pregnant. I feel like no, it's not a baby somebody lost while they're pregnant. This baby is about, I'm hearing, a year and a half. Maybe between a year and a half to two years old. 
but so this is like one of the cutest little guys I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I can see more from my peripheral vision than I can if I look directly at him. Okay, so thank you for bringing him up again. Um, Heather, thank you so much. And he doesn't speak because he's still, I think because he was so young, he's not verbal yet. Um, but if I were to ask him, I think his name starts with a J, with a J like a Joshua or a, a J name. I'm just going to stick with J. I don't want to be too specific about it. And it might be a D too, like Joshua Daniel or Jamie. I don't know. I don't know that JD might be his initials. I don't know. And I don't want to say a specific name because sometimes I do get names wrong. I hate to shock everybody. I'm not 1 million percent perfect all the time. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 918-918. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Shelly and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Shelly, how can I help you today? Um, so I'm just, one of my son's birthday just passed, and he's an angel. And I'm just wondering if he has anything that he wants me to know. Sure. Uh, can I please ask what your son's name is, his first name? Zachary. Zachary, okay. Okay. Gosh, why do every single show they try to bring this some song from this movie in? I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. Don't gotta give me advice. Yeah. I'm all right. Okay, every single show that I think this is the movie I'm hearing Caddyshack, which is crazy because I think like they keep bringing in Caddyshack songs, which is so funny to me. Okay, the bigger thing is um, that he would want to say, I'm sorry, were you going to say something about that, love? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That sounds like him, though. Something funny. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, because that is definitely like the carefree, like, let's just laugh, F it all sort of yeah. Um, personality, like, I'm all right. <laughs> he says it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to <laughs> say, um, he really wants to tell you, um, he's singing another song and I hope it doesn't make me cry. Um, that song, have I told you lately that I love you? And it is a very, very, Aww. very old song. Um, and the whole, the, the purpose behind that song is he wishes like he, he, you could hear him telling you he loves you because he says it, he says it every single day, every single day in the morning and the evening, he's like, Hey, my, I love you. Hey, my, I love you. Um, and then he goes, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Like if he's leaving the house and you say, be careful. He's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um, so he's like letting you know every day um, that I love you also stinking much. Remember, it's your job to make the miracles that happen in your life. Take care and I will see you soon.